about this huh. You talk too much Hi everyone, it's Adiel here and I am so excited about today's video because today we're doing a little prom 2018 get ready with me and yes I know I graduated high school already but this is for all my babes that are going to prom this year or in the future just to give you a little bit of inspo and also thank you to Lolly Prom Dress for sponsoring this video and providing me with this prom dress. They do custom prom dresses on their website for every single order and I'll talk more about them later but definitely be sure to check them out and I just wanted to thank them. So straight after priming my face I'm going right into my eyebrows and I'm using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and then I'm going to go in with my Goof Proof to fill them in just a little bit more and then using my Gimme Brow as always and I really like how my brows came out today. I think on your prom you should really focus on your brows and spend a little extra time on them just because I know personally when I look back at pictures I notice my brows especially and how they looked and I feel like if you're happy with your brows and you look back on them for years on your prom pictures you're not gonna mind so then I like to clean them up with concealer and today we're doing shadows first and I'm prepping my lids with shape tape of course as always and then just making sure that my brows are perfected and even and then going ahead and blending this out all over my eyes and then I'm gonna be setting with translucent powder I still have to try out that technique where I don't set but every time I get fearful so now dusting that away and today I am going to dive into the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette and it's been a while since I used this one but I'm going in with raw sienna and burnt orange to create the perfect transition color just really warming up the crease and building that up a lot I just want this really to pull through and look really blended and beautiful so I'm going ahead and just taking those two colors and really blending that out and these are pretty much going to be the main focus besides the next color we're going to use in a second you so the key to this is just really blending i'm taking a big fluffy brush from the makeup shack and just doing a bunch of circular motions and really working this color and then i'm taking red ochre on a morphe brush and i'm putting this on my outer lid and then working it into the crease and this is going to go with the dress a bit more i just really wanted to bring out that kind of red burgundy shade and oh my god this dress is absolutely stunning if i was going to prom again ever again in my lifetime this is definitely what i would wear this year so super exciting and let me know if you want me to keep doing prom videos because i feel like they're really fun to film and this video is so extra i just had a blast wait till you see the end footage but yeah just working this color and blending that into the transition now really stunning creating that beautiful blend So now moving on, I am cutting my crease. So this brush accidentally had black eyeshadow on it and I totally forgot, but it's all good. So then I went in with my eyebrow brush, but as you can see, it's kind of like a slanted, it's meant to carve out your brows. So I was having a little bit trouble cutting my crease with this. So I cleaned that brush off and then I went back in with it because it's just a bit more rounded and it's easier for me to cut my crease. So definitely be sure to use a brush that you know works well with cut creases and that you're comfortable with so just filling in that half cut crease just to clean it up a little bit it's crazy how much this really does just to make any look pop and look a lot more blended and professional so then these clips got totally cut out i didn't realize it stopped recording but i basically set it with translucent powder and then blended red ochre into that concealer to create a seamless blend and this is how it looks it's beautiful gradients and now using gold leaf so as soon as i picked up this dress i knew i had to purchase some gold leaf i purchased this on etsy for i think like four bucks the whole bag and I'm just going in with my Too Faced glitter glue and then folding up little pieces of the gold leaf foil 
reveal and popping that on the first half where I cut the crease. I mean, you didn't really have to cut the crease with this look, but it just gave me a little bit of a guideline, so it's all up to you. Um, if you're on a time crunch, you know, you know. You also don't have to do this if you were going to follow this makeup tutorial. You could use a gold shadow, but I really do believe that using glitters or gold leaf really do add texture and make any look kind of look more professional and more advanced and like you didn't do it yourself and I just I just love the texture it looks so beautiful on the lid and it really does match the dress and kind of it's not so much that it's foil but just the texture of the dress kind of looks like I put that on my eyes so then I'm kind of blending it outwards a little bit so that it has a fade into the shadows and doesn't look super harsh and this worked better with my finger so just doing that and then for today's look I wanted to add a wings liner just to add a little bit more definition to the eye and also because I feel like I've done kind of similar looks to this one without the gold leaf of course but with the modern renaissance palette on my channel and I didn't use a wing so I wanted to add a, li a little bit more variation so just creating that sharp ass winged liner and I'm going to be doing a beginner series really soon step by step on how I do stuff like my winged liner and all that sort of stuff so stay tuned and today I use my cocoa lashes in the style foxy and I think they look really good with wing liner I don't know I have specific lashes that I only like with wings liner does, does that make any sense or that look specifically good with wing liner but anyways now I just went in and moisturized my under eyes after cleaning them up a little bit and I'm using my favorite foundation at the moment which has been my favorite foundation for a few months now the makeup forever stick foundation you want to stick to a foundation that you know photographs well and looks well on your skin especially on prom day and go for whatever coverage you feel comfortable with and then I'm highlighting and concealing with my shape tape of course as always also you want to make sure you go with a concealer and a powder that does not give flashback I feel like I've said this in every single prom related video but my junior prom my dumbass chose a new powder that I never tried before and I had flashback on my junior prom and it was terrible because my junior prom was in November and you needed flash for the pictures so I only got like two good pictures but it's all good so then I'm going in and just bronzing and blushing up my face and then using my new favorite highlighter which is the Jeffrey and Manny Uranus collaboration highlighter it is absolutely stunning it looks so wet and beautiful on the skin and I'm using that to highlight and then going back in with red ochre on the lower lash line to really define the look and then I went in with my liner to hide the lash band and look a little bit better and I also went and tight lined my lashes and coated my eyes with mascara just to look good and blend in those falsies and today I went in with my Too Faced Melted Matte Liquid Lipsticks and I went in with two colors and I put the red on top of the burgundy I'll have the exact color names linked down below then dusting off the bake setting my face and here's the finished look. I'm absolutely obsessed with how it turned out. It looks so good with the dress and everything just combines perfectly. So I'm going to shut up in a little bit because I want you to admire this little music video. And I also want to give a huge shout out to my friend Melissa for helping me shoot this. She's so, so talented and this came out bomb. But my dress, like I said, is from Lolly Palm Dress and they offer custom palm dresses. I'll have this exact one linked down below. They have a ton of affordable, amazing, cute dresses and and you can customize them like I said with your color your exact sizing and they make your dress custom to every order and I definitely recommend them so you should be sure to check them out down below Go on. 
So that is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed the final look and the dress and everything. Everything on their website, they use 100% real pictures from real people. And I was so excited to be working with them. So I really hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you again to Melissa for helping me film because this video wouldn't be as cool without her. This is seriously so cool. I'm so proud of how it turned out and I really hope you guys liked it. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments. Let me know when your prom is and what you're planning on wearing. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!